Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Transformers review. And as you can see, I'm doing another one of the MicroMaster. Um, well, it's not actually a base as such, it's more of a playset. Um, although it's classed as an Autobot MicroMaster base, they actually term it a Battlefield Headquarters. I don't really class it in the sort of base mode kind of uh, way of thinking about it. Um, as you can see in this mode, it's a truck. So that's obviously you know, basically a vehicle, a truck mode. But in its transformation, it transforms into two vehicles. So again, not really a base mode as such. Um, I would class it more as a MicroMaster vehicle playset kind of thing. Anyway, all that to one side. Um, as you can see, it's in its truck mode, um, which is quite nice. You know, it's quite nicely detailed, nice sort of chrome grille and bumpers there. Um, nicely sticker detailed all around the outside. Very American patriotic colour scheme. Um, and as you can see, it comes loaded with a few additional extra bits. You've got four orange missiles, two the same size as each other. Um, you've got two smaller guns on top and two larger guns, which makes up the smokestacks of the truck. So, yeah, not a bad truck mode in itself. With a few little extras as well. Um, in this mode, it does actually hold two MicroMasters which come come with it, and they are. If I just check. Uh, full barrel is the first one, and overflow is the second one. Now, I get get them out as they're sort of like sitting in the cab driving, and again, I like. Just bring that in so you can see. Try and get the light right. There is actually sort of seats in there. The light's not brilliant. I'll just get a torch maybe and just shine that in there. Just to see if I can pick out the detailing inside. There is actually, there you go, some seat detailing moulded in in there in black plastic, which makes it a little bit hard to pick up on the video but you know to show you on camera is a little bit difficult it's obviously because it's so dark in there um, but yeah nice little opening canopy for a driving compartment now you get as I say two MicroMasters now these are a combiner set and as I say they were go back to the names full barrel which is this one and overflow which is this one now I'll transform them but I'll bring them in first because they're in the robot mode and pretty good you know quite a chunky uh, MicroMaster these ones um, full barrel is the one as I say the one I'm holding and it doesn't take a million guesses to work out what he transforms into um, yeah not a brilliant sort of mould but, you know, what was you going to expect? This is from 1990, after all. Now, transformation for him is simplicity itself. You just fold the back section up, and he's very stiff on his old joints. And that just folds up and closes, like so. Fold his arms up like so. And that's basically the front end of a little truck. And then you take overflow, which I'll bring in. And you have a look at again. Not a bad little figure in himself. His arms do move, but they're quite short, stubby ones. A little bit of moulding detail, hands inside and that. But yeah, not a bad little figure. But again, very chunky. But again, that's due to the transformation, which is, again, even as simple as a full barrel in the sense that uh, you just bring the legs up and round like so so he locks together like that 
And then as with all these MicroMaster combiners, you've got a peg and a hole at one end, and they literally just peg together. And he makes quite a neat, almost like a miniature version of the base. So he's a little MicroMaster truck. Um, again, unique to this base. Um, you won't find him anywhere else in any of the other sets of MicroMasters or I don't think even in any of the other um, like the rarer Japanese bases and that so again quite a hard thing to pick up if you're after getting one of these or completing one of these these two are quite difficult to pick up and if you see any going cheap well worth sort of snatching up if you ever want to get one of these bases because they're often obviously missing um, but yeah so that's his little truck mode I'll put him to one side for now and we get to the main crux of the review so you've got your truck and as I say you get the accessories you get two large guns I'll bring one in so you can have a look at them pretty basic moulding but not bad you know again this is only like a playset sort of type parts and again two of these smaller guns right now for their other mode as such it's not a base but vehicle mode you have to split them in half and they obviously connect together at that point and they do fit together quite firmly so they do take a little bit of force to separate now this is perhaps the worst of the two halves although it's good in truck mode it's alt mode is a jet now to do that you've got a um, orange hinge sort of piece there and you have to release this top section over and round and then that pushes round and clips into position you then have to turn the orange missiles round from where they were fixed and peg them on to the holes and the missiles and then you fold out which it did on its own um, fold out the wing sections like so as they're just basically long pin hinges and that unfortunately is its jet mode now from that view okay not too bad you get sort of like some sticker details on the wings or bot logos and you do get an opening canopy as well so you can put MicroMaster inside so yeah not bad and it still will roll on its wheels but the only thing is the back end of it still looks like a truck which is not the greatest sort of um, alt mode for disguising what the original mode was um, it's not even really kibble because it's still actually in the same form it's just folded out I mean you could almost have just folded out the wings and had a flying truck so that is its worst sort of part um, also for the jet mode you can also I believe fold the wheels up like so to the center and then it will just sit there so it won't roll in that mode but of course then it doesn't look like it's got four great big tires underneath it anyway getting to the second half or I suppose you'd class it as the trailer of the truck exactly the same transformation as you can see you've got this same orange hinge release the top section round and over and that snaps in like so again you can fold the wheels in like that and that obviously makes it more stable it just sits there and folding down the wings again you get to quite a big shuttle sort of mode um, not too bad you can stand micromasters on those pegs inside there though obviously you can't get any into the cockpit which is a shame you know it's a bit of a shame they could have made that section lift up or something like that so you could get one in never mind um you can 
open down this rear section so you can drive MicroMasters in and out if they're a bit smaller. This is a little bit tight for him to go in and out, but just about. But to make it a little bit more of a base mode, they've also allowed that both of these sides hinge open like that to form a kind of base, but not really. But it does at least mean you can access, if you've kept any MicroMasters in here, you can actually get to them. And I'll show you the detail inside. You've know, basically got just some panelling sort of moulded there with four pegs again to stand the MicroMasters up. Um, in these modes, you can of course fit the larger guns on, and they can fit on to the wings like so to give it more firepower, not just the missiles. And on the smaller one, you can fit the smaller guns, and they can go onto there. Like so, though they will interfere with your opening and closing the canopy. Now, as another little mode, these can can recombine in jet modes. Follow these two holes underneath, and go onto these two pegs. So, in that mode, you can sit them down. If you line it up right, and they'll sit together like so and make a larger combined shuttle type thing. Not that brilliant in that mode either. Um, it kind of looks too chunky, too clumsy to actually be sort of like airworthy, even with a kid's imagination. Um, so, yeah, these aren't brilliant. Let's just say that. I mean, I'm a fan of G1, so obviously I've got a soft spot for these sort of bases and that. But uh, it's one you could probably live without. Um, it can go for quite a bit of money when it's complete, um, especially if it's boxed. But I, if I was collecting these off the bat, sort of like, you know, just as a, say, a younger fan, I would go probably for Sky Stalker, um, Sky Hopper, and Count uh, Countdown. They're the best three of the base modes and the larger sort of play sets. Um, you can always add in the smaller play sets, and they obviously are cheaper anyway. And they kind of add in quite nicely to it and all connect together. Um, but yeah, this is one. If you're a real die-hard fan, yeah, you'd want to pick it up. Uh, but like I say, you know, don't sort of expect miracles with it. It is pretty basic and playability sort of value. Yeah, you could say you've got two G1 little MicroMaster shuttles or something like that. I suppose you could pretend it's a bit like the movie from '86 where the Autobots are flying around in their shuttles. Something like that, but uh, yeah, not the best MicroMaster uh, vehicles going, but uh, worth picking up if you find it for a good price. Anyway, I shall leave it there and thank everyone who's subscribed to me. Um, I've picked up a few more subscribers just recently. Um, and as ever, I haven't thought to actually write them down, so I can't actually thank you directly, but if you are watching, you know who you are. Um, I will do a proper thank you uh, vid on the next vlog, and I'll try and remember to dig out the names. Um, but yeah, that's about it for this review. Um, thank you for watching, and I shall see you again.